Hey there, it's Rachel from All About The House. In this video, I'm sharing a quick tutorial on how to make a DIY recipe book. So I created a pretty rainbow strap recipe cover in Photoshop, and then I also made some inside recipe cards, like recipe page sheets to put all your recipes on with like notes, ingredients, instructions, etc. So if you wanted to download these printables, they'll be for free on my blog, which is allaboutthehouseprintablesblog.com. I'll include the link below if you wanted to go and download them. Alright, so as for making it into a recipe book, you could always put this in a binder, but I made this for a friend and she did not want a bulky binder for her recipe, she just wanted something really compact. So I put about 60 pages into this notebook and I just bound it at home using my comb binding machine. You could always take it to your local office supply store and have them use um, like spiral binding or you could use discs. So if you have like some leftover Happy Planner discs or Mambi um, discs or the Arth Planner, Levenger, etc then the disc bound system would be another good option for making a DIY recipe book or of course spiral binding. Okay, so I've used a clear cover. I got this from the book binding section at Officeworks and it will just protect it from wear and tear and spill. So I've made a couple of notebooks using these same things just with different um, covers and different inside pages. So I've done some like monogram line notebooks when I was back in school, I would make my own and I would do different covers like color coded for each subject. So they're really cheap and, and easy to make. So then the clear cover protects it from wear and tear. It does like to collect dust though, so you do need to wipe it off a bit. Then the cover is printed onto 280 GSM cardstock. So try and find the thickest cardstock that you can get. Um, it can be quite hard to find thick cardstock. Officeworks was where I got this from. And I had to buy a pack, but I make so many notebooks that it doesn't really matter because I use it all anyway. So you could look on eBay for cardstock as well. I do recommend cardstock because paper can be a bit flimsy and when you print on cardstock it really makes the colours pop, they really stand out. Another option if you don't have cardstock is to use glossy full sheet label paper because that's a bit more sturdy than matte and the colours really look really good when you print out onto glossy label paper. So you could use that for your cover instead if you wanted to. You could laminate the cover but I personally prefer to add the clear cover. Gives the option um, if you wanted to, well I have a binding machine so then I can just uh, put it back on the coils, pull out the cover and put a new one on if I wanted to or swap out a page. But if you don't have that flexibility, um, then using the disbound system basically does the same thing where you can switch out the covers if you get sick of it. Alright, so then as for the inside, I kept it really simple and I just printed a whole bunch of recipe pages that I made. So I kept it real simple with just the recipe, the oven temperature, cooking time serves, where the recipe is from. So like the website or the magazine or the person. Lots of space to put ingredients, a big direction space and then some notes where they can put like storage instructions, um, little extra tips and variations, you know, switch out this ingredient, do substitute, how long it will store, should you store it in the fridge or the freezer, in um, the pantry, etc. So that's how I did the layout of the recipe book, it's quite simple. So you could really adapt it for any type, um, use it for any type of recipe that you wanted. I just printed out a whole bunch of these and bound them straight into the book. I have made other recipe books before where I did DIY dividers with tabs. Um, and then I just did like cardstock tabs and stuck them on the edge here and put in a cover divider so I had like meal planning and then um, like meal planning pages or I had like cookies and then all my uh, recipes for that were behind that section in the divider. So basically just like you would with a binder only I just spiral bound it instead of putting in a binder. Um, if you do want some recipe binder printables that you could turn into a recipe book with binding then I have heaps in my shop which is all about the house um, on Etsy. I'll include the link below. So if you just wanted to get started organizing, organizing your recipes, this would be a good option. And if you didn't want to add tabs, but you still wanted to keep it like organized and color coded, then um, my friend is going to use a different color pen for each type of recipe. So she really likes baking. So for things like cookies, she's going to use pink and then a different color for cakes, slices, etc. And then when you're flicking through all the pages, um, while you won't have tabs, you will have it like color coded. So that's another option as well. And then at the back, I just printed a colored cover and printed that on cardstock as well. And I also added a couple of blank notes pages at the back if she wants to stick something in there, um, like printing out a kitchen conversions chart or something like that. I have a printable for that on my blog as well if you're interested. And then like personalizing it with any kitchen tips, favorite recipe websites, etc. I left that sort of open-ended with just blank note paper, but I do have printables for all of those, which I put in my own recipe binders. Um, but I just kept it real simple so she can choose however she wants to customize it. 
and then the back cover is also printed onto cardstock same as the front matching and then also the clear cover to protect it from wear and tear and spills etc so that's literally it it was just front cover back cover and then some recipe pages and you can really personalize it however you want another option if you wanted to keep your recipes like color um, coordinated or matching is to put a little scribble in color in pen up the top or um, like a colored dot put like a sticker up the top and then that can be another good way to organize your recipes if you don't have um, dividers or tabs or you don't want to put those in there you want to just keep it as a really simple recipe book because if you are putting this on a shelf um, and you put it right at the back and you've got tabs sticking out sticking out along here then they can get damaged as well than if you just have like a nice straight spine on the side like it is at the moment so I'll include those links below if you wanted to download them and make your own recipe book don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you want more um, planner related videos like planner reviews tutorials etc um so yeah i hope you found this quick video helpful thanks for watching